coming up on The Golden Key. The church is overdue for a renovation. Oh, who's there? Just what were you doing running down the street from the church? So? Here? Who would think of doing that kind of thing in a church? He left this set of clues for me to try and unravel. Everyone wants to solve a good mystery, don't they? Please turn around. You're under arrest. Just a few announcements. First, as you may have heard, the church is overdue for a renovation. We just received the reports from the safety inspector last week, and it appears that we probably only have a few months before some of the building's issues make it unsafe. So we will need to begin renovations. Now I know that many of you love the beautiful and ornate architecture of this church, and it pains me to announce that we are short almost $50,000 for our repair fund. I have spoken with the bishop, and he has told me that if we cannot raise the necessary funds before the building is deemed unsafe for the public, we'll have to really pare down the more ornate elements of this church and convert it to something less expensive to maintain. If any of you could spare some money to donate to our renovation fund, I would be very grateful. Every little bit counts. Now also, as I mentioned last Sunday, there's also an ongoing food drive for the food pantry here in town. They've really been low on donations for a while now, and any assistance of non-perishable food or money, or both of course, is always appreciated. The Mass has ended. Go in peace. Hail Mary, full of grace. The Lord is... Oh, who's there? Why is that person going down there? Isn't that the church treasury? Oh, I hope he doesn't see me. But I, I have to see what he's, he's, he's picked the lock on the money box. Dumping all the money into a bag. Oh, oh no. He's coming this way. <coughs> 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 I'd like to report a robbery. So, ma'am, you were in the church around 10.30 and saw him come in the main door? Yes, officer. It had to be around then. He came in the main door and, and walked over to the hallway where the church treasury room is. Now, you're sure that it was a man? Yes, it was, and he was fairly tall, wearing a black uniform as far as I could tell. And Father Bill... What do you usually wear when you're not in the church? Well, when I'm up and around or out and about, I usually wear a black shirt with my collar and black pants. Just priest attire. Hmm, very interesting. I assume you were in the rectory. That is, in your house when this happened. Yes. I had just finished my nightly prayers and was getting ready for bed. I turned off the light when I heard the back door slam shut and someone running out. Very interesting. Now, does... Officer Goodman, can we please let this nice lady finish her testimony before we ask Father any more questions? Oh, right. Uh, go ahead. Well, I followed him down the hallway. Apparently he either had the key or picked the lock to the door of the treasury room. When he came out, he was carrying a bag with something in it. Money, I assume. And he ran out to the back exit, right into me. He knocked me onto the floor, but kept on running out the door. Then I called 911. Well, the money box in the treasury was definitely empty. How often is the collection money deposited? And how much money was in the box at the time, Father Bill? We deposit the money in the bank, or to the accounts of whatever particular cause it's going towards every Monday, after all the weekend masses. Of course, this being a Sunday night, since we hadn't deposited it yet, 
there was probably several thousand dollars in there. I would have to ask the treasurer. He counts it up on Sunday afternoons. Well, what do you mean causes, father? You said the money is routed to whatever causes it's going to? I mean, well, the building renovation fund or the food pantry fund, that sort of thing. We have several of those. Understood, father. We'll need to contact the treasurer as soon as possible. Father, does the church have anyone else who might wear a black uniform and have a key to the treasury? The janitor sometimes wears a navy blue uniform, but only the treasurer has the key, for security purposes. I want to ask the janitor some questions then. And all the parish staff who might know about the treasury. Certainly. I can give you their contact information. I think that's about all for now. We'll investigate the area, but you're free to go, ma'am and Father Bill, uh, once we have the contact information. Okay. Okay, thank you, officers. It's got to be somewhere. I just don't understand why you had to make it so hard to... Oh, who's there? Hello? Who's there? Is there a reason you're back there moving things around? Please, come into the light and let's... Oh! Wait! Come back! Please, come back. I don't want to hurt you. I just want to talk. Straight into that alley. Having a little trouble there, Father? Officer Goodman, what are you doing here? (sighs) Me? I'm doing my job. Keeping an eye on things. You apparently were taking a late night jog. Into some trash cans? Oh, well, that's one way to put it. Just what were you doing running down the street from the church? You seemed to duck pretty quickly down this alley when you saw me come around the corner. What? I didn't see you at all. In fact, I was too busy chasing that person. Oh, why did the Lord make our shins so sensitive to getting whacked on things? Chasing someone, you say, Father? I didn't see anyone. You're telling me you didn't see that person in black running down the street and into this alley? He... Or she pushed those trash cans down in front of me to stop me, which worked just fine. Whoever that was, they were pretty athletic. If you say so. And this person was wearing all black, you say? Yes. I assumed to stay hidden in the dark church where he, she, was rummaging around behind the altar near the sacristy. The, uh, I'm an old altar boy, Father, but I don't remember that word. It's, well... What matters is it's not a place someone would be if they were just in to pray in the church, especially at this hour of the night. People have suggested we lock up the church after hours, since we had the theft the other night, but, well, I just hate to do that. The church is a place to pray in the presence of our Lord. I know Catholic churches and cities often have to lock up, but in our little town I hate to do that. People do come in and pray. You kept saying he or she, Father. You tell me you think this person could be a female? Or uh, are you just keeping things really vague? I'm not sure why you think I'd do that, officer. The, The only reason I said she is that as the trash cans were pushed down, I heard that person sort of make a grunting noise. And, well, it sounded kind of female. Maybe that sounds a bit odd. I don't know. Well, there's a lot odd about all of this, Father Bill, if you ask me. But I guess that shouldn't surprise me. Officer, what is it you're trying to... Oh, Father, I wanted to tell you. We've been talking with that maintenance man of yours. You know, the other parish employee who wears a dark uniform and could have been skulking around the other night looking for a chance to steal that treasury money? He certainly does have the motive... Seems his family's been having some financial problems. But he has an alibi that, if it checks out, would clear him up. I did know about his family's troubles. 
and I've been quietly trying to work with some of our parishioners to help him out, anonymously. But Jim Clancy's a good man. I have no doubt he'd never steal money, especially from the church. Well, nice to hear you're in favor of spending money on something besides prettying up the church building. What? Why would you... Never mind, Father. Let's leave it at that and call it a night, shall we? Look, I'll be keeping a closer eye on your church in the coming days, okay? We'll figure all of this out. I appreciate that, but... Good night, Father Bill. Watch out for trash cans on your way home. Oh, good morning, Father. I hoped I'd find you here. Officer Martinez, I didn't expect to see you here. Well, I went by your house, I mean the rectory, and didn't find you there, so I thought I'd check here at the church office. And please call me Heather. Well, what can I do for you, Heather? So Phil, uh, that is Officer Goodman, told me about the incident last night, and, well, I think he forgot to ask you if you wanted to file a report on it. He had to testify in court this morning on another case of his, so I thought I'd drop by. A report? I don't know that there's much to report, really. It would just be a record that something happened, so that if we catch the perp, we can have a more detailed backlog of the events. The perp? The perpetrator. The person who... No, no, I know the term. It's just that, well, I'm not sure that anything was perpetrated. That is, someone was moving around in an odd location in the church, perhaps acting suspiciously. I don't know. And the person ran when I confronted him. Or her. And perhaps foolishly, I gave chase. Maybe I'm the one that ought to be apologizing. I deserve what I got for chasing him all over. Or her. Whoever that was. Mm-hmm. Yes. Officer Goodman mentioned that you thought the person could be a female. Possibly, yes. There's no evidence any crime was committed. I see your point. Well, I guess we'll leave well enough alone then. Sorry to have interrupted your work, Father. Officer Martinez... Heather, is it just me or is Officer Goodman a bit prickly? Particularly with regards to me or the church or something. Ah, so you've, uh, noticed. I've noticed something. I'm not really sure what it is, though. Well, I mean, Officer Goodman, you know, he really is, uh, well, a good man, truly. And I think that's what motivates him. He's just got uh, convictions. You know, he feels very strongly about some things, and I think it really does come from a good place, you know? I don't doubt it. What sorts of things does he feel so strongly about? Well, uh, the church. You know, I mean, I mean, any churches, really, but in this case, the Catholic church. Um, it's like... Well, do you remember that Catholic church in the city a few years ago that built a whole new building and it was really pretty and all that? Uh, and there was a lot of controversy over that on social media and stuff. Just a lot of anger from people about that. I remember it well. People were upset because a lot of money was spent to build that church instead of going to help the poor or feed the hungry. Things like that. Exactly. Yes. Officer Goodman, he saw that. And he totally related to that anger, you know? He couldn't believe there's so much suffering in the world and that so much money could be used just to build a pretty church, you know? I'm definitely familiar with those concerns. Hmm. You don't think he's right to be upset? I think he could be right, depending on what the church is doing with the money and especially why they're doing what they're doing, who it serves, and how. I might ask, first of all, how many people in America are truly going hungry, and if they are, is it because no food is actually available, or because some particular circumstance, like maybe parents not making sure their children are fed, is really the problem? I think extreme poverty and starvation due to lack of food are problems in some places in the world, but not generally in our country. Yes, but what- But that's not really the main point I would want to make here, Heather. I think some church leaders do truly abuse their positions and live in wealth and luxury while the people in their congregation, or even just in their community, go without. Pastors who drive expensive cars and live in mansions. That seems pretty bad to me. Me too. But Catholic priests, you take vows of poverty, don't you? No, generally parish priests like me don't. 
But we also are always going to be limited in how much money we make or how luxurious we live. And I think, too, that Officer Goodman is upset about church buildings being built in an unnecessarily expensive way when people don't have enough money. Is that right? I think that's safe to say, yes. So let me ask you something, Heather. Have you ever been to a beautiful place in nature? A lake or river? A mountain? Some place with a wonderful sunset and just being fed by what you experienced there? Just felt peace or joy? Well, yes, very much so, Father. I love nature. My husband and I love to go camping. We love to be near water, mountains, all of that. Do you think it's wrong that a lot of money is spent, some of it public money from taxes, some of it money that people donate or whatever, to create parks and nature preserves and pay for the upkeep of them and pay staff to run them? Is that a wrong thing to do when people are going hungry in some places? Well, no. No, you're right. I see what you mean. What about art museums or history museums or playgrounds or recreation centers, skating rinks, bowling alleys, libraries? None of those places are feeding hungry people or helping poor people have money, at least not directly. Maybe the books and libraries could help poor people learn more and get better jobs, but there's no guarantee. So are all of those things bad because they're not feeding people physical food or giving them money? No, Father. Those places, activities, all of them help people in a different way. You could even say they feed people. But not only their stomachs or financial needs. They bring people joy, pleasure, maybe opportunities to learn or share happy times with friends or family. All of those things are really important parts of being fully human, being truly happy in the greatest sense of the word. Don't get me wrong. The Catholic Church has always seen it as her mission to feed clothe and care for the most needy in our world. The Catholic Church started the whole concept of hospitals. It's been leading the way in feeding the hungry and providing shelter and clothing to the needy for almost 2,000 years. Not all Catholics, of course, but the Church has always made that a big part of her mission. Do you know that if the Catholic Church stopped doing what it does tomorrow, millions would go hungry without shelter, without medical care or schooling? The Church is the largest charitable organization on earth, Heather. Hmm. I didn't know that. Many people don't. But the church has also always strongly believed what Jesus says, that man does not live by bread alone. All of the good things we talked about a minute ago, museums and parks and libraries, they do feed a part of the human person that's not just physical. But the church teaches that humans also need God. We need the love of Christ and the presence of God in our lives to be truly happy in the deepest sense. Well, Father, for what it's worth, I agree with you on that. And maybe Officer Goodman would too, but he would still argue with you about those expensive church buildings. Fair enough. I'm sure he would. But what if, in the case of Catholic churches at least, the goal of those beautiful churches is to reflect God's beauty and to honor that the church building is the place we believe heaven literally and actually meets earth and that that beauty is meant to elevate each person who enters the building to a higher and more joyful place. Doesn't that seem worth something? Especially if our parks and libraries and museums are worth something. Oh goodness, that's the parish phone line. I'm covering for our office manager while she had to step away. I'm so sorry, Heather, I do need to take this. Hopefully we can follow up later, yes? Of course, Father. Hello, St. Mary's Church, Father Bill speaking. Oh, please be here. Please don't let him come back in here. <clears throat> oh! Good evening. Oh, gosh, I didn't know anyone was in here. What? Why are you in the pews in the dark here? Like, hiding? Who said I was hiding? Just sitting here. And I might ask you a similar question. Who are you, and what are you doing in the church at night? You're a police officer. That I am. Officer Goodman's a name. Once again... Who are you? Well, I... This is an open church, you know. People are free to come here and pray whatever they want. Even at 10 o'clock at night, I guess. And it didn't sound like you were praying here. What were you doing, moving things around back here behind the altar? Well, I, I wasn't doing any harm. And what are you doing here at this hour anyway? 
Um, me? I mean, well, as a matter of fact, I was looking for the thief who broke into this church the other night and stole the money out of the treasury. And the person who was snooping around here last night and ran out when the priest caught him. Or her. So? Here? Who would think of doing that kind of thing in a church? Well, a lot of people might have good reason to. Well, what's that supposed to mean? Doesn't matter. People need money. You know that. How about you? You need some money, do you? Found an easy target, maybe? Me? You think that I look... I'm not a thief, if that's what you're suggesting. I was only looking for what's rightfully mine. But why would I return to the scene of a crime after I stole something here so recently, if I was a thief? I mean, I'd have to be someone nobody would ever suspect to be that bold. You'd... what? Yeah, that's an interesting point. What is? A thief. Someone nobody would suspect. But look! Who's in here? What's going on? I have the police queued up on my cell phone ready to dial. Oh, Officer Goodman, it's you. Father Bill, what brings you in here at this hour? I've been keeping a bit of an eye out from the rectory. I saw flashlights bouncing around in the stained glass coming from in here. And then I heard voices. But who's this? That's what I'm trying to find out. Just who are you, young lady? Hello, is someone there? Now who's here? This must be the most happening place in town. Oh, officer and Father Bill, what's going on? Peter McKinney? And Claire, what brings you here, folks? Who are these people, Father, and why would they be here this late? They're parishioners, officer. Good people. Certainly not our thieves. Thanks, Father. Well, we're just here because Claire here thinks she might have left her bag here after Mass the other day. We've looked everywhere, and she's kind of desperate. Our dad's out in the car waiting. Claire didn't want to come in alone. Hey, I wasn't exactly scared. Hey, Father Bill. Hi, Claire. You kids came at a strange time. Officer Goodman and I were just wondering who our unidentified guest is. And what she was doing here at this hour, moving things around behind the altar. Hey, I wasn't breaking any laws. It doesn't matter what I was doing here. Maybe you were breaking some laws. I think you may need to come down to the station with me to discuss this further. Especially since you said you were looking for... How'd you put it? What's rightfully yours? Whatever that means. Wait, wait, wait. Officer, please hold on, if you would. Young lady, you said that? Maybe I did. Why does it matter? Well, it matters a lot, since there's been a theft here recently. I'm sure the officer here is concerned that that could be happening again. And by the way, your voice sounds rather familiar. Any chance you might have taken a bit of a jog out of this church last night? I don't have to answer that. And the officer here doesn't need to worry about another theft. Not from me, anyway. I was just... searching. Searching for what? For something, okay? I don't want to talk about it. Well, you can come down to the station and talk about it then. And stop wasting our time here. Okay, okay. Wait. Fine. Fine. What? Fine. I'll tell you. I was trying to follow the clues written in this... What is it? It's a set of clues to lead me to something. Hmm. These clues, they're about the church building. Or church buildings in general. They seem to relate to theological meanings in architecture of Catholic churches. What does that mean, Father? Oh, I'm sorry. I'm probably not supposed to interrupt, am I? It's okay, Claire. It means Catholic churches aren't just utilitarian buildings. I mean, they're not just made to be big boxes with seats. They're designed to show the meaning of what's happening inside of the church at Mass and to show the meaning of many aspects of our faith. These, these clues on this paper seem to be pointing towards certain features in the church, as if they're leading the reader towards something. Yeah, something. Who knows about it? My grandpa sure didn't like to make things simple. Your grandpa? Could I take a look, Father? I did a paper on this for school. I mean, homeschool, you know? Okay. Some of this stuff you could probably get somewhere with by just researching on the internet. Didn't you try that at all? I mean, no. I didn't want to waste my time with all of that. I mean, it can't be that hard to find, right? 
And just what is it that you're looking for, young lady? And who is your grandfather, anyway? You mean, who was he? He passed away a few months ago. I'm sorry to hear that, miss. Charlotte. Charlotte Lee is my name. Well, I'm sorry for your loss, Charlotte. Were you and your grandfather close? We were. I mean, he was always in my life. But, well, he took me in a few years ago when my parents... Did your parents pass away, Charlotte? Yeah, when I was just a sophomore in high school, and, and Grandpa took me in, and well, he took care of me, gave me everything he could. You played for the high school here in town, right? And you graduated last year. That's right, soccer star, for all the good that did me. I remember what happened, I mean, about your parents and all that. Wow, I'm sorry. What did happen, Charlotte? My... My mom and dad were... They were hit by a drunk driver one night during my sophomore year of high school. Killed instantly. Just like that. Lord have mercy. I'm so sorry, Charlotte. I can only imagine what you've suffered. I remember that too. I'm sorry, kid. That's really rough. I remember your parents, too. Good people. So, uh, your grandpa, was he from around here? Originally, yes. He grew up here, but he had moved away. His wife had passed, too, so when my parents died, he moved into our house to take care of me. But when he died, well, I'm all... All alone. That must be so difficult. No other family here? No, just me. And it's not easy keeping up the payments on the house. Just having to take care of myself, pay all the bills, try and take some classes at the community college so I have something to work towards. So, well, what's with the set of clues then? On this paper? You said it's something to do with your grandfather, didn't you? Grandpa, yes. Well, I loved him dearly and he was a wonderful grandpa, but he could be pretty darn frustrating. How so? Well, for one thing, he was... He was really so darn hard-headed Catholic, over the top if you ask me. Uh, n no offense, Father. None taken, I think. Oh, so you wrote these clues then? That would make sense. Yeah, well, it sort of makes sense. I mean, not really. As a part of his will, believe it or not, he left this set of clues for me to try and unravel. And I gather there's something else, some destination, Something I'm supposed to find if I can't unravel the mystery he wrote out for me. <laughs> That's a new one on me. Yeah, you and everyone else in the world. It's like, look, my parents had quit being religious when I was a little kid. But Grandpa, he was always trying to get me to be that way, you know? He was gentle about it and all. Not a mean guy. In fact, probably a saint. But he really wanted me to love God and stuff. Thought it would make me happier and all that. Which is like, hey, that's your thing, you know? It doesn't work for everybody. I hear that. Well, I might beg to differ there, but go on. So he talked to me about God and Jesus and Catholic stuff, and he tried to get me all into Mass and everything, and even the church, like the building. He said even that could teach me something. Some phrase he used like, beauty will save the world. I mean, I know he didn't mean like supermodel beauty or whatever, but still, it all just seems like a kind of waste of time. I never could figure out what goes on here that's so special anyway. You can say that again. And how in the world can anyone justify spending tens of thousands of dollars or whatever on some prettiness in a church building when there are hungry people out there? <sighs> Don't get me started. I mean, I never have been to the Vatican, but you know how much gold and money is tied up there? Well, people are poor. Ridiculous, if you ask me. Now, Officer Goodman, just wait a minute. That's not... Oh, oh, sorry, that's my dad. Hello, Dad? Yeah, sorry, we're coming. Father Bill's in here and some other people. Um, we're just talking. Oh, right, mm, just a minute. Claire, Claire, did you find your bag? Oh, I forgot. Oh, hey, look. <gasps> yes! It was wedged between the seat we sat in. Got it. Sorry to interrupt. Uh, we better get going. Yeah, it's late. 
We all should probably be leaving. I just wanted to respond to what you said, Officer Goodman. That was quite... Look, Father, we just aren't going to see eye to eye, so how about we call it a night, right? Charlotte, listen. I'd like to invite you to come back if you can. Maybe you could leave your grandfather's clues with me to look over. I think I might be able to help. Really? I mean, sure, if... If you're not mad or anything, that I was sneaking around here at night, moving things around. Well, everyone wants to solve a good mystery, don't they? I know I do, Father. And I'd like to tag along when the time comes, since there's an ongoing investigation into that theft from the other night. Well, sure, Officer Goodman. Of course you can. Can we come too? Claire. Well, I can tell you want to solve this treasure hunt thing, Peter. It's not a treasure hunt, Claire. Not that we know of. You two are welcome too. Might be some new info for you in your studies there, Peter. Okay, sure. Thanks, Father. Well, that sounds okay. I... I appreciate it. Say 10 o'clock tomorrow morning? Um, Father Bill, hold up just a moment, will you? And this might affect the rest of you as well. I don't think you should schedule this get-together just yet. Oh, um, what is it, Officer Goodman? You know that janitor of yours? He's got a pretty tight alibi from the night of the theft. I don't think he's our guy. That's a relief. I knew he couldn't be. Any other leads? I've got a pretty good one, I think, yes. Oh, you do? I do indeed. Someone with ability and definitely motive. Well, I can't think who that could be. You know him well. Father Bill Miller. Please turn around, you're under arrest. To be continued. Join us for part two in the next episode of The Golden Key.